Good morning. Why would Jeremiah buy a field when the nation is surrounded by the armies of Babylon and people are being led away into captivity? Our reading today is Jeremiah 32, verses 6 to 15. And Jeremiah said, The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Behold, Hanamel, the son of Shalom, your uncle, will come to you, saying, Buy my field which is in Anathoth, for the right of redemption is yours to buy it. Then Hanamel, my uncle's son, came to me in the court of the prison, according to the word of the Lord, and said to me, Please buy my field that is in Anathoth, which is in the country of Benjamin, for the right of inheritance is yours, and the redemption yours. Buy it for yourself. Then I knew that this was the word of the Lord. So I bought the field from Hanamel, the son of my uncle, who was in Anathoth, and weighed out to him the money, seventeen shekels of silver. And I signed the deed and sealed it, took witnesses, and weighed the money on the scales. So I took the purchase deed, both that which was sealed according to the law and custom, and that which was open. And I gave the purchase deed to Baruch, the son of Neriah, the son of Maasiah, in the presence of Hanamel, my uncle's son, and in the presence of the witnesses who signed the purchase deed before all the Jews who sat in the court of the prison. Then I charged Baruch before them, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Take these deeds, both this purchase deed which is sealed and this deed which is open, and put them in an earthen vessel that they may last many days. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Houses and fields and vineyards shall be possessed again in this land. King Zedekiah grew tired of Jeremiah's persistent warnings. Submit to Babylon, pay him tribute, and he'll allow you to remain in the land. Zedekiah didn't want to hear that stuff. He didn't want anybody saying it or thinking it. And the nation, well, rich and sassy Judah said, no, we're going to find a way out of this. We're going to weasel out of this and not be under Babylon in any way, shape, or form. Now, the king, soft as mush, went along with the people. And, of course, then in came, finally at last, the armies of Babylon, surrounded the city. And that's where things have come to. Jerusalem's under siege, and Zedekiah is unhappy with Jeremiah, he's put him in prison, he's imprisoned him. The city's in prison, so to speak, and Jeremiah's in prison in a smaller space because that's a space that Zedekiah still controls. So that's where we are at this point. Now, Jeremiah goes and he buys a field. It's not really a common thing to go and buy a field when your nation is surrounded, you're enclosed in a city, and the Babylonian armies are carrying away your people by the thousands and thousands to captivity. But that's what God has Jeremiah do. He buys a field from prison. And the answer for why this is being done is again at verse 15. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, houses and fields and vineyards shall be possessed again in this land. God wants the people to know by an object lesson that there will be a return. There will be a return of those who are willing to be faithful. This is not forever. God is not abandoning his people. He's chastening them. He's closely interested in us and he's doing all he can to guide us away from worldliness so that we can be prepared for his eternal, unselfish kingdom. Well, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, please help us to see and live with the long-term view uh, in view. Help us, Lord, to look to the Bible. Help us to see the way you interact with your people. Help us to catch the vision of your bigger plan. Oh, Lord, the things of the moment... Uh, which is what Judah was focusing on, they can go away also in a very short, very short time. Help us to be long-term Christians, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayers today. Thank you for being willing to guide us, guide us through the crazy and intense times that are upon us, upon your people, and more to come. And yet you will be with us through every challenging space if we trust in Jesus. Thank you for hearing our prayers today, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So God has Jeremiah buy a field, although he's imprisoned and the city's surrounded by armies, so that the people know this is temporary. God is ready. He's going to be delivering his people. But along the way, we must be faithful even when the road becomes very narrow for us. God be with you today in all that you're doing.